crash testing is done primarily with a one size crash test dummy that represents uh, an average uh, uh, man, an average male, roughly my own size. And that's not really fair because um, that means that restraint systems and safety systems in the car are really adapted to uh, one size and one type of people. The general aim of virtual is to show the benefits of virtual testing, uh, testing with using human body mass, because we are able to cover the diverse population um, and therefore really link the testing to the real population and the real world in the end. Well, I think the virtual project brings some really interesting new developments to light, including their concept of trying to morph models from a core model to various statures and, and genders. And I think that could potentially have some really big benefits down the road as we look towards the effects of anthropometrics and gender and variability in the population in trauma biomechanics. I really cherish the open source value, especially at the university where you don't have so much budget. If you have to buy these licenses, they could be very expensive. But if you have an open source uh, model, you can immediately start. You can also contribute. Uh, this is very helpful because you, if you have new ideas, it's much easier to publish your results. So this is very important for universities. And this open source model is going to allow more researchers to work in this field. The field of human body modeling is actually very huge and it's not just uh, the you know, one person who can actually solve this, it's a community of like-minded experts working on the type of same model that is uh, accessible to everyone whereby we can actually solve this problem of safety and traumatology. I think the big thing that I see here that's really exciting is the international collaborations that are going on and the ability to leverage all of the things that people are doing and assemble them together in a shared format. That's really crucial for this field to advance. Yeah, I think the, the open source approach that we have chosen in virtual has uh, several big benefits because on the one side we are able to deliver really the model the use case and the whole documentation without any secrets. So it's fully transparent and therefore applicable by everyone and you can easily run the same cases as we have run them to see what we, what we were doing there and uh, repeat what we have done. Yeah, it's taught me that like the, the field of crash simulation is now very diverse. You have to include a lot of new methods which were not necessary like seven years ago. So we need to consider this pre-crash behavior, this muscle activation, and also consider the diversity of the, of the population. Yeah, it was uh, a success in the sense that we were able to gather quite a lot of the most influential, most uh, well-known experts in the field of human body modeling. And uh, we got a lot of uh, useful response and, and uh, surprisingly uh, high what you say, people were very positive about our project and about the concept of our project. And uh, one very important uh, takeaway message for me is that we must be, well, we must put a lot of efforts into uh, communicating with other consortia, with other initiatives on human body modeling to, to make the best out of it and to make sure that we, um, yeah, that we also um, uh, get a good uh, collaborative climate with other initiatives. It was really cool to see so many well-known people here uh, at, the, at the workshop and to have so many experts on board and this uh, clearly shows that we have a lot of interest in the project. And if you're also interested in what's going on, um, then follow us on Twitter or join the, the LinkedIn groups or um, subscribe the newsletter because we are an open source project. We want to publish everything as soon as it's there and we, we really want to encourage the, the communication and therefore um, just stay updated 